Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is Jamie Stevens, the goalkeeper for the Barnett Football Club in England, talking about his team. The transcript of what he says is below. End of the day, it's our livelihood. We want to blank blank as much as we can. Uh, briefly, some vocabulary here. At the end of the day is a phrase used before giving the most important fact of a situation. And livelihood is the way somebody gets the necessary things in life, like food, water, and a home. So in the next sentence, does Jamie say win games or wing games? End of the day, it's our livelihood. We want to win games as much as we can. End of the day, it's our livelihood. We want to win games as much as we can. End of the day, it's our livelihood. We want to win games as much as we can. If you're watching this with someone else or your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. So the answer is win games. However, it sort of sounded like he said wing games. Win games makes more sense in this context, but to wing something means to do it with no preparation. So Technically, somebody could say wing games. So why is it that win can sound like wing in connected speech? It's due to something called assimilation, which is when a sound changes to be more like the following sound, usually to make pronunciation easier. So in this instance, um, Sometimes an n sound at the end of a word, like win, changes to an ng sound, like wing, when the following word starts with a k or a g sound, like games. And this is actually a natural transition for the mouth because to move from n to k or g, the mouth sort of passes through the ng sound. And the reason I say sometimes is because this really depends on the speaker and how fast and informally they're talking. And if you don't understand the symbols I'm using in this video to represent sounds, please see the link below the video to the interactive phonemic chart. Here are a few more examples. Number one, instead of green card, you might hear green card, green card, green card. A green card is the informal name for the permanent residence card for immigrants in the United States. Number two, instead of the Ten Commandments, you might hear the Teng, the Teng, the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments. Number three, instead of my son Chris, you might hear my sung, like the past simple form of sing. My sung Chris, my sung Chris.
I'd just like to note that this type of assimilation can also happen inside just one word. A very common example is the word think, because we don't pronounce it thin, k. We actually say it like thing plus k, think. But since we're looking at connected speech, we're only going to be reviewing where this happens at the border of two words. So now to help you notice this type of assimilation, I'm going to read these 10 sentences and I'd like you to listen and fill in the gaps. If you need to pause the video and number a paper one through 10. Here we go. Number one. The pie is juicy inside with a perfect brown crust. The pie is juicy inside with a perfect brown crust. The pie is juicy inside with a perfect brown crust. Number two, there are many places to rest on campus. There are many places to rest on campus. There are many places to rest on campus. Number three, the main character in the book is fascinating. The main character in the book is fascinating. The main character in the book is fascinating. Number four, we like to lie on the green grass. We like to lie on the green grass. Number five, those busy parents have nine kids. Those busy parents have nine kids. Those busy parents have nine kids. Number six. Are you a member of a fan club? Are you a member of a fan club? Are you a member of a fan club? Number seven. If you don't want it, then give it to me. If you don't want it, then give it to me. If you don't want it, then give it to me. Number eight, I always bring an umbrella just in case. I always bring an umbrella just in case. I always bring an umbrella just in case. Number nine. We have so many things in common. We have so many things in common. We have so many things in common. Number 10, you'll need to show your ID at the main gate. You'll need to show your ID at the main gate. You'll need to show your ID at the main gate.
So again, if you're watching with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, go back and replay parts of the dictation. Here are the answers. Pause the video if you need to while you check them. Number eight, the phrase in case, is a phrase we use as a way to be safe from something that might happen, like in, in this uh, situation that would be rain. And number nine, to have things in common means to have the same interests and opinions as someone else. So for some people, in order to hear a particular feature of connected speech like assimilation, it helps if you actually pronounce it and say it out loud. So I'd like you to listen and repeat these phrases. Try to make the ng sound at the end of the first bolded word, or at least notice yourself making it. Here we go. Number one, brown crust. Brown crust. Number two, on campus. On campus. Number three, main character. Main character. Number four, green grass. Green grass. Number five, nine kids. Nine kids. Number six, Fan club, fan club. Number seven, then give, then give. Number eight, in case, in case. Number nine, in common, in common. Number 10, main gate, main gate. So to review, sometimes an N sound at the end of a word changes to an N sound when the following word starts with a K or G sound. So a final example is main course, main course. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of an N sound at the end of a word changing to an N sound and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of an N sound at the end of a word changing to an N sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.